Hey Beth, how are you? Hope you've had a really good week. Um, Disneyland looked very, very fun. Kylo Ren looked amazing. So hopefully sometime soon I can take another trip out there and see Disneyland and you and maybe Kylo Ren. Yay! Uh, let's see, what's been happening last week? Well, last week was Love of Reading Week and it did not all entirely go awesome. Uh, I enjoyed bronchitis for the first time ever. Hey, so uh, I've been really sick. I've had a lot of sinusy throat issues and they've all been very, very not fun. Uh, so I finally got a neti pot. I don't know. Oh, hi, Tuna. No, you're not supposed to be here. Um, I finally got a neti pot. I'm going to try it. I don't know if this is going to make it into the vlog because I might say I'm trying it and then it might not go well. Um, I did research. I looked at the instructions. I'm supposed to like tilt my head to the side and like stick this in and pour it. Um, it's either going to go really well or really not good. Um, I'm also not, let me see, where's my hand? Ooh, yeah. I'm not 100% sure how well you can see me with the way that's angled at the mirror and the way I'm here. So I'm going to try this might not show it at all. So, hopefully, yay, neti pot. We'll see. I'm really scared. This is gross. And none of it went out the other nostril. This is the stuff I'm probably not gonna show. Um, I'm gonna try this again. Go to the side, maybe. Ow. Okay, it's going. Uh, it feels really uncomfortable. It feels like I've got water up my nose. Ah. Well, so far no like sinus gunk. I kinda wanna cry though. Um yeah. And then I can try the other side. <coughs> yeah. Here's where I'm gonna stop filming, because I don't think I'm gonna show most of this. So yeah. Hey Beth, so it's Monday, it's love of reading week at school, so I wanted to do a video of me with a lightsaber, because that's what I was going to bring, but I didn't make it to school, I have bronchitis, and it is not fun, and Jeremy is staying home with me to make me feel better, because he's also not feeling awesome, so he thought it would be cute to show both of us looking sick. I am doubtful. Nah, I don't look sick, but basically, whatever she has hit me like a truck today, so I'm achy all over. Right. I don't want to move. I don't want to move either. So we're going to stop filming now. And we're going to eat some soup and go to sleep. Okay, bye. All right, bye. Hey, Beth. Sorry for the horrible, horrible lighting in this shot. Uh, I have made a tent with which to use my humidifier because I am desperately trying to get rid of the last bits of phlegm before I go back to school. Um, it's small, it's cramped, it's working, which is good. I feel a bit like Luke Skywalker on Dagobah. I'm pretty sure this is how he felt in Yoda's hut because it was really, um, you know, humid and probably uncomfortable. Um, and, you know, I think had they grown there, Yoda also would have had, you know, roses all around his little hut. Um, they really add something to the experience. So, yeah, this is uh, what I'm doing. It's not very exciting. It's not very fun. But, hey, if it works, I will not complain. Um, so... Hopefully all this steam will force 
the gunk out of me. So, yeah, we'll see. But when I did finally get there on Friday last week, um, I had some fun. I so, it's Love of Reading Week. Uh, it's Friday of Love of Reading Week. I missed most of it due to bronchitis. Um, there should be a spell to get rid of that. Um, even though Dress Like Your Favorite Character was Wednesday, I'm wearing my Gryffindor scarf and taking a wand that I borrowed from my sister and going as Hermione. Um, I did my hair. Uh, when it gets flat, I feel like I look more like Weird Al Yankovic, <laughs> but, uh, hopefully the kids will love it. Um, so, yeah. I read two of my favorite books to the kids. One of them is A Triune Tale of Diminutive Swine, and it's the three little pigs as if written by William Shakespeare. Um, I made the kids guess what I was reading them, um before. Most of them got it by the end of the first page, which is as follows. "'Twas a time not long past when there lived pigs in stature little, and number three, who of an age now, both entitled and inspired to seek their fortunes, did set out to do so thusly." I cannot tell you how much fun it is to look at fourth graders give you this look as you read Shakespeare for the three little pigs. So, got to read that to them. Then I also got to read The Squicker Wonkers, which is a really, really, really cute tale written by uh, one of my favorite actresses, Evangeline Lilly, and I read it to the kids, and the whole story is told as poetry, and it's about a little girl named Selma who's a bit spoiled, and I don't want to spoil ah, the ending, but there's that. They really loved it, too. Then we had another pandemic night. Okay, so we're recording. All right, so Mark, bring us up to speed. So it is February. Dun dun so dun. We survived January, but now new challenges await. Okay. But one of the things that we forgot before we move on to February is we eradicated black. Ooh, so well, eradicated. We, it became a positive mutation. We get to name it. Nice. So, what are we naming it, Christian? We're naming it Kaneshi. And the uh, spirit in Spirited Away who pretty much goes crazy and starts eating everybody in the bathhouse. Right. He's big and dark and. Uh, he's, his name is No Face when you translate it to English, so, yes. And then we, we named it that because the, the black disease, if you can... A little black disease, it yeah. It looks like little, little soup balls, uh, soup balls from, um, uh, Spirited Away. Yes. So that's kind of where we got the idea for the name of the disease. Nice. Pumpkin is licking my feet like nobody else. Oh, so. pumpkin, stop it! <laughs> stop it! <laughs> So, all right. Well, on that note, I will uh, stop my dog from doing that if he hasn't yet, and we will play. All right. So, sadly, despite the fact that, you know, Christine here has proven that she's really not quite up to the task. I mean, we've all been saying it around the office since her breakdown. <laughs> um, Dr. Samantha Dean is going to sit this one out. Um, she's been feeling a little under the weather. <laughs> so... Uh, and instead, our new quarantine specialist, um, which gives us a relationship, we're going to put that on Facebook, all right, relationship status. Facebook yep. Official. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to do that. Um, our quarantine specialist will be entering the game. Uh, she doesn't have a name yet. So we're going to think of something really, really cool for it. Um, but yeah, so Dr. Dean is out and... I don't know who Get this to be is named. yet, but they're in. They are so, in. So, TBD is in. <laughs> Woo! Okay. All right, so it's the start of my turn, which is really good, because I have plenty of red, which is now being cured, because I'm right there in the research station. Boom! Red is now cured. We have achieved our objective. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo! -hoo! Woo! Um, so, yeah, and now I still have moves to make, which will basically be... No, you're done. That's the end of the game. I can't move. I want to get rid of it, though. You can't. Oh, we can't eradicate yeah. it, because it's, like, done. It's but done. Woo! We won! Go us! Yay! And after one of the worst starts to this game I've ever seen. Yeah, it was a pretty rough start, but rough. we did it. We ended before an epidemic. So if my turn was over, I would have taken two cards, and there would have been the last epidemic. But we won, we so it. it doesn't matter. It was Woo! all thanks to um, quarantine specialist Jessica Murdoch. 
She quarantines crime. Which we, or fights viruses. We really needed that. Yes, round. we did. We really needed that. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. So, any comments, Medic John? Medic John was just happy to do his duty. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so we eradicated yellow. What are we naming it, Christian? We are naming it Shock Jockey from the Vigor in Bioshock Infinite. The uh, special power that you can have that lets you shoot electricity through your hand. Right. Your enemies. So. It's very intense. It actually shocks the controller, I remember. <laughs> Known by its Latin as Shockius Jockius. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. So let's start over here. Um, researcher Christine, um, how did you feel about our work today? Felt pretty good. Are you sure? Because Medic John and I were co workers, that was our relationship status. And we felt that our working relationship made you rather useless. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to add that to your set of neuroses. It's still to give you cards. Good. I'm so glad. Are you jealous of Jessica Murdoch because she is now co-workers with Medic John? I mean, that is a pretty big step in their relationship. Just, just a bit. It's a bit. Yeah. We're probably going to swap you out for a newer model. <laughs> 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 just saying it's okay I'm scarred <laughs> I know we know Medic John how'd you feel it was good I felt like it it was kind of rough there at the beginning but we got it sorted out yep. yeah and I thought we had a good a good co-working relationship there so yes a good co-working relationship done. we're gonna post to Facebook now <laughs> all right and so the board is clear and ready for March in a month yay Ooh. And finally, oh, hi, Tuna. Hi. I don't know if you can see Tuna in the frame, but she's right here. Down. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Finally, Michael's had a sale on yarn. Yay! So I bought one of my favorite kinds of yarn, and I'm making a scarf with it. And this yarn is, I feel like the little girl in Despicable Me, because it's so fluffy I could die. So this is us getting yarn. Hey, so why are we here, sweetie? Yarn and a frame, hopefully. Yes, look at all the yarn. So much yarn. Look at this yarn. It's ginormous. This will show up better on the video. Like, it literally says ginormous. That will show up. Ooh, better. colorful ginormous. Nice. More yarn. So this is one of my favorite yarns because it's super soft and it's on sale. Yay, sale! So that's about it. I uh, hope I haven't forgotten anything. I feel like every other week comes faster and faster. Um, the school year is already uh, getting ready for rodeo break and then spring break will be coming up. So again, hopefully there'll be a chance somewhere in there or sometime after to see you guys. I miss you and James. I uh, hope you're both having a wonderful week and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye. Yeah.